Question 5 talks about smart home. The question says, explain the term smart home as used in the world of technology. So what is a smart home? A smart home it could be a resident or a place or a home that uses internet connected devices to enable the remote monitoring and management of appliances and systems. So in some homes we have the internet connectivity and this internet connectivity connects the devices within uh, this home. For example, we could have the uh, the, the cookers, where we could have uh, the appliances that are used to control the temperature, we could have all of them connected together, they form a smart home. So why are they connected together? They are connected together uh, for monitoring or for, uh, for example, you need to, to know or you need to automatically regulate the temperature of a house. So all this could be connected together and they use what we call a sensor. So a sensor is able to bring or to record uh, particular changes uh, within and send the signal to, uh, to the central system that these systems are connected to. So that is what we call a smart home. It is a resident that uses internet connected devices to enable the remote monitoring and management of appliances and systems. So uh, related to, to that question, B says, describe the importance of the Internet of Things in a smart home. So the smart home uses Internet of Things, or what we commonly know, know as IoT. So what is IoT? IoT is just a, a connection of all the devices that are used within a home or a country or it could be within a, just a resident. But each of these appliances or devices are in, in, in they have what we call sensors incorporated within them. A chip. These chips or these uh, sensors, they just gather information from these different devices within this restricted area. And this uh, information is sent to a centralized position or location. So the importance of Internet of Things or IoT is to contribute, it contributes to the internet connection and remote management of, of mobile appliances incorporated with the, within a variety of sensors. So all of them, these uh, things in, in computer, we call them things, but they could be devices. Some of them could not be things, but all of them are called things and they have the sensors. So these sensors helps in, uh, in gathering information from all these devices that are connected using the internet. So that is the importance of the internet of things within a smartphone. And the other one we're saying, question C, reasons why organizations pursue business process integration. So business process integration is where all the business pertaining, all the information, sorry, pertaining to organization from each and every de uh, department within an organization could be integrated into one. So be it information from the HR, from the accounts, from any other department within an organization can be accessed together for proper and real-time decision making. So why is this important? Why do business run after that or pursue it? First is for improved data accessibility. So remember if all these de uh, departments within an organization are working independently, then to get data from a particular department will take time because you have to get it from this department, go to the other department. But in this case, if these data are, are, are in central location, then it is easy to access this data. Again, it is easy to communicate. So the second reason is better communication. You can communicate easily between different organizations or between different departments within an organization. Why? Because you have one center of information. And this leads to improved productivity. Remember, if you have improved data accessibility and better communication, then the production itself will be fast and that will lead to high uh, profits within an organization. And again, we can have what we call one-stop service. Uh, and like having different services or, uh, within different uh, departments within an organization, we could have one-stop service where you need, you get what you need from one <laughs> interface. Then question D was saying, e-commerce customers uh, should be able to find the products they are looking for quickly. Explain three best practice features for an e-commerce website. So e-commerce is an electronic commerce. E-commerce is just business or exchange of goods and services that happen in the or over the internet. 
So that's why we call it e-commerce. So for this to happen effectively, we must have some website, some place where you can be giving information or can be displaying your products and even your contacts so that you can interact freely with, the, with your customers. But sometimes when we do these things, remember our website could be cloudy, it could be confusing for our customers to access whatever they want, it could be boring for them to interact with us from this website. So the question is saying, what are the best practice features for an e-commerce website? So first is get rid of clusters. So what are clusters? These are lots of information that can confuse customers. They are not, they, you, you have some website and they have lots and lots of irrelevant information. So ensure that within the website, there are only information that is relevant and very simple for your customer to get. And two, make your uh, website trustworthy. How can somebody trust your website? First of all, you should have your addresses, you should have your contacts so that someone can indeed call or contact the company just through the website so that uh, they do not confuse it with another website which is not uh, the correct one. And also you could use appealing images depending on what business you are doing. Could you put some or upload images within uh, that website that could appeal, that could pull or attract your customers so that they do business with you. So those are only some few good practices that will help you to make a good appealing website that customers will really love to interact with and to get feedback from and even to place order. So question E was saying, examine the significance of carrying out stakeholders analysis before understanding an information system or sorry, undertaking an information system project. So who are the stakeholders within an organization? So organizations have different, different people who are involved in one area or another. They include your customers, they include the owners of the organization, they include the employees, and any other person who, in one way or another, affect the organization. So when you want to start a project, you must find information from them, you must involve them in one way or another. You must get their take. That is what we call uh, stakeholders analysis. So the question is saying, why is it important? One is to gain more support and resources. Remember, if you do not involve the sponsors, if you do not involve the owners of the organization in this project, where will the resources come from? So first, the first advantage or the first reason is to gain more support. So they will give you support morally. They will also give you uh, financial support. Two is increase project visibility, especially to stakeholders. So stakeholders could easily uh, get in touch with the project step by step. They are able to see, they are able to, 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 to know that this and this is going to happen within this organization. The another one is to prevent costly roadblocks later in the project life cycle. Remember, if you don't involve each and every stakeholders, at one point or another, they might decline. So you have to go back and get, get information again. Those are roadblocks that you must get rid of if you want to have a successful project management. So you must involve all the stakeholders by engaging them and getting information from them. Again, the last one is that it is able to help you to communicate through the right channels at the right time. You are, you are able to know who is the sponsor of this organization. You are able to know who is the user so that the information that you get that is uh, relevant to each and every part should be passed to that specific line of, of, of communication so that you don't get up and tangle yourself with information in a wrong direction. Mm -hmm.